Today let's take a look at um, doing a little bit of keyframing with Final Cut uh, to create a 30 second uh, visual prayer. So to start we'd go over to our garage band and I've already recorded this here and uh, I've read a prayer in just using the record button at the bottom of the screen making sure that I've turned off the metronome uh, while I'm recording and then once it's recorded uh, get rid of the beginning space and the end space. You can use Command-T on your keyboard to chop some stuff off. So if I needed this little bit off here, I'd move my playhead and then Command-T, select that little bit and delete it. Okay, now I don't actually want to do that because I've already trimmed off the excess, but uh, uh, that's what you're going to want to do in yours. And then we'll share that out. So export song to disk, make sure it's on MP3 encoder and export. And we'll call this one Prayer 3. And it's, I'm noting that it's going in my Music Sounds folder here. All right, so there it's exported out. And then we'll go over to Final Cut and add that as a resource into uh, my Prayers folder here. So we'll get down here, scroll up a little bit, and then find that media. So there's Prayers 3 and drag that into a media folder. Okay, and there's that file right there. So we'll put it on the timeline. And then what we want to do is mark where I would change my visual imagery. So, you know, at the beginning I'm just blessing myself and then about here is where the first picture should come in. So let's just play a little bit. Holy Spirit. Be generous in prosperity and thankful in adversity. Be fair in your judgment and guarded in your speech. Be a light to those who walk in darkness and a home to the stranger. Be eyes to the blind and a guiding light to the feet of the erring. Be a breath of life to the body of... So basically, each time I started a new sentence or talked about a new sort of visual thing that I could do, I hit M on my keyboard uh, to put a marker on my audio. Okay, now we've got lots of pictures here, I believe. Let me just check here. Prayer media, there we go. So now these pictures aren't going to necessarily match what, what's going on in the uh, in the audio, but just to give you an idea of, of how we can isolate and bring that some of that stuff in. So this, is, this first part is where I bless myself, and we want something visual there. And then here's where the sort of first sentence of the prayer is. So we can take a little bit of that and put it over top and let it snap to that marker. And then I know that I want that up here until the next marker. So we'll expand that out until it's filling the space between the two of them. Now looking at still images is kind of boring. So um, let's just zoom out a little bit here so we can see the whole screen. And I'd probably want to start that so that there isn't any black here. So we'll change our image. So I've clicked on the transform controls. I'm just waiting for my computer to catch up to me here. On transform controls. And it doesn't seem to want to cooperate. There we go. And so we'll make that a little bit bigger just so that we don't have the black on the edges. Now, let's give this a little bit of a motion. And when I say mo that's movement, um, so what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit on the boy working on his homework. Okay, now if you understood keyframes in Flash at all, you'll you'll get this no problem. So I've got the playhead at the beginning of the clip. When I've got transform on, my keyframe tool comes up in the top right here. So I'm going to add a keyframe to the beginning of the clip. I'm going to go to the end of the clip, and I'm just going to back up one frame so that I can actually see the image. And we'll scale that a little bit and move it in. Now that might be too much. 
we, don't, we want the movement to be kind of gentle. Okay, and then we'll just sort of watch how that goes here. Be generous in prosperity and thank. And that you know that might might even be too much. So if I want to make an adjustment here, while I've got that clip selected, I'm going to use the arrows around my keyframe tool, just to step to the next keyframe, and we won't zoom quite as much as we had. Okay, so we'll make it a little bit less. And maybe keep the, the mom's head in there a little bit. Be generous in prosperity and thankful in it. Yeah, and that's a little bit gentler. Um, so it's just something to maintain visual interest while we're, while we're going there. So that's a zoom in. We could also zoom out by going the opposite way. Um, but we could do a location change as well. So we'll start this out much bigger. Okay, and we'll, we'll drag it so that it's lining up along the left edge there. So on the first frame, we'll put a keyframe, drag it to the end. I've got to back up one, so I'm hitting the left arrow. And we'll just slide that across so we get a little bit of motion there. So let's just see how that one works. And thankful in adversity. Be fair in your judge. Okay, and there, oh no, we got that a little bit long, but. Uh, that's, that's another transformation that you could do. Um, and then the last one we're going to do is, is not a physical transformation. So it wouldn't be using uh, this transform tool down here. It'll be one of the properties within uh, the property panel. So let's get one more picture on here. And we'll fill it between our markers. So what we want to do here is fade in and fade out. All right. So one of the things with uh, the properties is that the keyframes don't show up for our properties until we hover beside it. So as I hover beside opacity, the keyframe marker shows up. So we'll put our first keyframe in, and we want the opacity down at nothing. And you can see our picture has disappeared here. And then we'll move in a little bit and put another keyframe and bring the opacity up to 100. OK, so that's our fade in. So I'll just step with the arrows, and you can see as I'm going with the arrows, it's a little bit more opaque. And then do the opposite on the on the way out. So just before the end of the clip, keyframe, go to the end of the clip, keyframe, and back down to zero. So it's a hundred at this point, and then fading to zero here. So we'll step with the arrows again to show you that it happens very gradually. And we can combine effects as well. So you, you, can, you can do rotation and zoom if you wanted to, or you can do rotation, zoom, and slide to left or right or up and down, or, or whatever you want to do, whatever your um, creativity allows. But find imagery that fits your prayer and you know, just gently bring them in and out just so that there's that engagement. And please don't forget to to add uh, a blessing at the beginning and end of the prayer. Okay, now let's see what you can do with this.